channel guys it's Carbon Rhino together with my cats as always and I have a top three for you today with the best games I played last month. There are three gorgeous but very different games taking you to lands and eras far far away. Kitara is a strategy game with an Afro-fantasy setting many centuries ago in the vast Kitara Empire. Players want to expand their kingdom and make it prosperous. They draft kingdom cards which give them new recruits and movement points as well as more options in terms of new kingdom cards to be drafted. Whenever you move to a space with opponent's pawns, you initiate an attack and if you do that with at least one hero pawn, you can draw a hero token from the bag which gives you extra bonus points. Players need to protect their kingdom, feed their warriors placed in savannas, have master animals in ruined spaces, and try to gather the most prosperity points. What strikes me most about Kitara is its simplicity. The game is super streamlined, it's very easy to explain, and the illustrations are absolutely lovely. Just look at this fabulous rhino. I wouldn't recommend it as a two-player game, but with three or four players, it can be exciting and full of tension. In number two, we've got some of the darkest, sexiest, and timeless creatures of a beloved role-playing game. In Vampire the Masquerade, Vendetta, you play as one of the vampire clans and you use your unique special powers together with bluff and treachery to gain the most influence. The different clans decide whether they want to fight for the possible allies and influence in the locations and the players use their deduction skills as themselves and the opponents keep reusing their decks. The art is fantastic, there's lots of surprises, the battles are always neck and neck and for sure there's gonna be a lot of blood spilled. And number one, there is Chronicles of Crime 1400s. It's part of the Millennium series and it's set in Paris of 1400s where you are a knight with an unusual gift. You have strange and prophetic dreams of past crimes or crimes yet to be committed. So the city asks for your help to solve mysteries as at that time forensics weren't that advanced. The game throws you to the story without having to read any rules and you use the app to visit the locations, find clues, search the crime scene with the 3D glasses and interrogate suspects and witnesses. I was already a Chronicles of Crime fan, but I enjoyed 1400s more. There's two great additions that make the game even more immersive. The first one is the visions. You start the game with these scenes that you recall from your dreams and it gives you valuable insights on the case when you manage to make sense of them. In my opinion, the visions work really well because they give more room to the game to be more challenging and a bit more elaborate as you have to pay attention to all the small details and nuances of the suspects that you interrogate. The second addition is that you use your dog to crack the cases open. Percival sniffs objects, tracks their scent and barks to point you to the right direction and might even drag you to a new location. So that was it for January. I'm already playing the next games for February and I think it's gonna be really hard to pick. Let me know in the comments what are you playing these days, even if it's an older game or a new game. And of course, this video is dedicated to all my patrons for their amazing support. If you also want to help the Rhino grow, you can head over to my Patreon page and join a community of some really awesome people. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.